gonna focus on me. Oh, what? I have my skincare here. I'm getting ready now. I am getting ready to film this week's video, which is finally, finally, I got around to making the part two of Styling 7 Outfits video that I released the first part of, like, I think two, three months ago now. So I really wanted to get the second part out. I kept procrastinating with it. it. The filming and the editing are not my biggest issue. I think that videos that require a lot of preparation and research, they are kind of an issue because I, I just procrastinate on research and preparation for some reason. It's like, I, it's not that it's my least favorite thing to do. I don't actually mind it, especially when it's something fun, like, you know, finding outfit inspirations and hair and makeup inspirations and stuff like that like that that's really cool especially in the third part when i'm starting to shop for clothing like that's going to be amazing i probably will not procrastinate that part honestly only if for financial reasons yeah this part i really wanted to do both because i wanted that video out but also because i just wanted to do it for myself because every time i get ready i always end up wearing the same stuff like over and over again so i really wanted to do this and the reason why i kept procrastinating and i even wasn't sure if i was gonna do this video now is because I wasn't I'm not 100% happy with what I have because because I was procrastinating and I started doing things kind of last minute again I didn't have enough time I feel like I didn't have enough time to be like a bit more creative with my outfits or find better inspos or like spend a little bit more time digging through my own closet try to style something better and i was even considering to like do a different video again and again postpone this video but at the end i was like you know what it's fine instead of trying to be a perfectionist like i always am and hence procrastinating and sometimes never getting around to doing something i decided that since this is my first time ever doing something like that i'll i just need to do it if it's not perfect it's not perfect it's okay. Hopefully next time around I'll be a little bit smarter. I'll start a little bit earlier. I'll take as much time as I need. So I'm getting ready. I'm just doing my um, skincare. I did. I just did my skincare. I don't think I'm gonna do makeup. Initially I was thinking to do a full package. You see like this is what I mean about the perfectionism. Like my initial idea was to do a full package. So an outfit, also makeup and hair for each outfit. It's just going to take me forever to film. I think I need to plan a little bit better and film those on separate days for it to make sense and not to be like super overwhelming for me and not to take forever to film this video. Because if I have seven makeup looks, seven hairdos on top of seven outfits, like this is gonna be a disaster. Maybe in part three. Or I was thinking to do a completely separate video with trying out different hairstyles because again, makeup and hair, I'm not really good at. Hair has always been a struggle of mine. So I'm thinking that maybe I could do like a video trying different hairstyles. But for this video, I'm just sticking with the outfit. So I'm not doing any makeup. Okay, I'm finished. This is um, the aftermath of filming this video <laughs> i have to um i have to clean everything now this is my underwear drawer don't look i need to find my pants it's very important i need to find my pants and <laughs> i need to start cleaning oh you can see i don't have pants on great it went pretty well actually i didn't expect the outfits to come together so well did I go crazy with them? No. A lot of them were kind of in my comfort zone. Some of them were a little bit outside of the comfort zone. But with the dream outfits, and you will have to watch the video to know what I mean by that, they will be a little bit more out of my comfort zone for sure. Especially that sheer skirt. I will try my best to first find everything, which I don't think uh, finding uh, will be the problem. It's just making it work and finding the right type to make it work. That's what I think is going to be a little bit of an issue. I'll just continue working on my fitness <laughs> and hopefully by the time that the 
uh, part four is released, you know, I will be a little bit more comfortable in my own body and so I will be able to make this outfit, you know, work a little bit better. It's, I think it's like 12.30. I just finished filming i need to clean and then because i didn't have any food yet i also need to eat i just had my coffee which i didn't even finish so let me start with the couch i guess <laughs> and work my way through the living room banana because I'm boiling some eggs so while I'm waiting I was getting really hungry I'm just sitting here I need to drink some water as well because I'm a bit dehydrated it happens so much especially with her Janelle Ganestra this choreographer is one of my favorites and it happens to me a lot with her when I just open Instagram and prior to that I like decide not to dance anymore and like stop dancing and then I open an app, it's her, and then there's another two, two choreographers that I follow on Instagram that I sometimes open Instagram and their video pops up. And it's such a cool choreography, such a nice one, and the music just speaks to my soul, the, the choreography speaks to my soul, and I'm like, damn it. I <laughs> And I have another, I think, three or four screen recordings in my phone right now of the choreographers that I really, really want to try. It is... Thursday? It's Thursday. I need to turn on the AC. It's getting hotter and hotter every day. I can't escape it, I guess. I am doing a very basic skincare because I'm going to the gym. I was trying to remember last night when was the last time I went. I think it was like three weeks ago, maybe. It was a long time ago, to a point where I'm struggling to remember like what do I normally take with me, what kind of bag do I need, what kind of equipment do I need. I'm just doing cards and core today, so I'm not gonna go super crazy first day back on like the weights. I, and in general, I think I need to like chill out a little bit on the weights, just in general. I look rough, I understand, but today is gonna be a long day, so... I'm gonna wash my hair later today when I'm back because I'm gonna go to the gym now then I have to go to a couple of places actually because there is a birthday party tomorrow and then I need to do grocery shopping for the week there was something else that I needed for sure I can't remember now I bought SPF that I normally buy but this one is tinted and I can't understand if it does anything I think I need to brush my hair, which scares me a little bit because I'm gonna have a lot of hair everywhere on the ground, on my t-shirt, it's okay Here's what I need to do today uh, First of all, I would like to clean my brushes So this is what we're gonna do now I used to have a special liquid for washing But now I think I need to google what is the best thing to use I think it's just soap and water TBD Okay, so it seems like any type of soap will do I think my brushes are synthetic, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take a bowl like that I put some dishwashing soap, as you can still see here, and some water, and I'm just gonna mix it. These are the brushes that I need to clean. It's a beauty blender, and I also bought this thing, as you can see, it has like little, um, what are they called, like spikes, not, sp not spikes, but little things to rub the brushes again so they wash better. I'm gonna mix the water. And I guess I will just dip it in, kind of swirl it around a little. I think that I will put everything inside at once, all the little brushes. So that they can soak while I'm washing the other ones. Okay, so we take the brush and do this 
I guess. I've never used it before, so I don't know. Oof, the water is getting dirty, which is good. Okay, we're gonna do round number two. I have the new water with all the brushes already in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some water in here just to soak them in for a little bit just maybe i don't know five minutes while i'm getting ready to go to the gym and then i'm gonna rinse them a couple of times and let them dry i've got this towel i think i'm just gonna lay it on the counter here and dry the brushes on top of this towel all the brushes and I'm washed and they are gonna just stay here to dry for a little bit I took out the light I'm gonna take it with me I think and try to find this bulb to replace because it hasn't been working for a while my gym bag is packed I think I have everything I have my water here my perfume we don't want to stink in public and I think I'm gonna put my Nikes this now <laughs> just going quickly in my mind over everything i need so my camera is still there where's my camera i'm not taking my camera but ah <laughs> let's ignore this happened i have my wallet have my phone here have the lamp <laughs> Very important. I have my lip balm, have my water, my runners in case I want to run on a treadmill. Ooh, yeah. Hello. Welcome back. Now I can't remember which band I use. I think it's the red one. So, the band. Have the band. I think I'm ready to go. Good morning, it's the next day. It's Friday. Of course, yesterday I ended up forgetting to film. My brushes are dry. They're here. I left them to dry overnight. They're definitely dry now. I have a lot uh, that I want to get accomplished in the next two days. So I have two days off today and tomorrow. And I would like to do the spring cleaning type of thing because I think the winter is definitely behind us now at this stage and it's getting progressively warmer each day so I think that I should swap out winter clothes for summer which shouldn't be a big project and then I also would like to there is a birthday party that I'm going uh, to tonight so I really have like half a day today I need to take um shower i need to wash my hair maybe do like a face mask because i haven't done one in a while as well i did my nails yesterday very quickly it was very spontaneous but i'm glad i did it because now i don't have to worry about it so this is today and i think i'll leave the cleaning to tomorrow i'll also change the sheets do the laundry all that good stuff cheers look how nice and clean they are 
They actually did a really, really good job of cleaning it. They, they look like new, honestly. And then the beauty blender is all clean as well. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm still in my pajamas. That's okay. That's fine. I woke up, I think about an hour ago. Today is Sunday. I really need to do some meal prepping that I didn't do over Friday and Saturday, my days off. So I thought I'd do this this morning. I have like an hour maybe. So I'm not gonna do everything. I will do the main things. The things that will make my life easier. That includes making a lentil mix for my lentil pancakes or rubs. Um, I need to chop some vegetables just to have like snacks. For example, celery, because I will have celery and hummus as a snack this week and also chop some green onions, you know, like just prepare the veggies for when I might need them. And I want to make the bagels. My homemade, I want to say gluten-free, yeah, gluten-free. And they're just two ingredients, very easy to make. Let's get to it. I'm gonna start with bagels because bagels will go into the oven and they will need to be there for 15-20 minutes, I think, if I remember correctly. And then I'm gonna do the lentil mix because it needs to go to the fridge and then I will do the veggies. I have two versions of the bagels, the two ingredient bagels. One is with milk and another one with yogurt. And I think that I liked the milk one better. I did it by mistake once and I ended up actually liking it much better than the yogurt version. Okay, I need ground almonds, so almond flour. I have enough. You don't need to see my face, right? No. I'm just gonna take this bowl. 247 gram. To be seasoned as well. red lentils two that's a cup of lentils and I'm just gonna wash it English version. so it's one one and one so it's one cup of uh, red lentils one cup of water and one cup of milk any milk And that's it. Now I just close it and put it in the fridge. Three hours will be fine, I guess. I think by the time that I am back from the gym and ready to eat my breakfast, I'm going to, it's going to be ready. Now we're done with the lentil mix. So two out of four things are done. I have celery here and I have green onions. here 
I also saw a video on Instagram or TikTok, I can't remember, but I saw that you can cut these off and then put them in the water and grow your own green onion. So maybe actually I should try that. But for now, I'll just cut them and wash. I didn't notice how the camera turned off by itself. It stopped recording. It stops recording after about 20 minutes of recording. So you missed the whole chopping part. <laughs> so it's now chopped. Okay, so I have water here and I'm just gonna boop. We'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm just gonna put it right there. So we are done. I still have my coffee, it's cold now. All of my veggies are chopped and I think let's go check on the bagels. I think that they are ready. I think that they are more than ready actually. <laughs> A little bit dry. Right, I'm trying to multitask now. I think I'm gonna put two eggs to boil now because I wanna do like an egg and avocado spread and put it on the bagels that I made this morning. I'm running a little behind on my schedule, that's why like I'm trying to multitask as much as I can. I think I'm just going to reapply SPF and that's it because I already did my skincare in the morning, like the full skincare. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand this SPF. Normally I get an invisible fluid, but this time they didn't have it. It's like a BB cream. It definitely leaves a tint for sure, like. Do I look tanner than I looked before? to do with my hair i just don't know we need a video where i'm gonna try to figure out my hair and do like different hairstyles and stuff today is monday i am finishing this vlog here actually because i am about to start filming the next video for the next week which is going to be trying tiktok recipes so that's exciting yeah i'm doing my skincare now and i'm going to start filming so i'm gonna finish this video here i think i have a lot filmed for this week actually but i never truly know until i start editing just know that we did some productive things this week i washed my brushes which wow <laughs> We did some meal prepping. I'm gonna do the rest this week. And yeah, what else did we do? We didn't do any spring cleaning. I did some cleaning. I didn't do it on camera, but I did some, uh, not spring, just cleaning. The spring cleaning, I believe I will do probably next week, maybe. I don't know if it would be anything interesting to film like for a video. Don't know if anybody would be really interested in that content. I used to watch cleaning content. But I don't know how people feel about it these days. Thank you so much for watching this video, for joining me this week yet again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will subscribe to come back next week. Like this video if you like this video, leave a comment. And I hope to see you next week for a new video, which you already know is going to be trying TikTok uh, recipes. So I hope to see you there.